in the previous unit we created the hydrologic response units now we are ready to edit and create input data for running SWAT so click on edit inputs and run SWAT and it will ask you to connect to a geo database which is what this is and all you have to do here is make sure that these databases exist at this location so I know that this exists this also exists and as you remember in the first unit we stored the Sergo database inside the databases folder in SWOT editor and we have a SWOT executable in this location so once this is confirmed click on connect to databases and you will see this message connection is successful if these files don't exist you will get an error here once this is successful we will click on write input tables and the first input data that we want to write is weather stations in this case we are going to use the default weather generator in QSWAT so we will just pick one of these so in this case we are going to use WGEN which stands for weather generator US co-op 1980 to 2010 and then for rainfall data we will select simulation for temperature simulation wind speed simulation so everything will come from that simulated weather generator okay and the process is complete so once that is complete click close and then again click on write input tables now we will write SWOT input tables everything other than weather stations and we will select all of these and say create tables that is good so just say yes to these messages now remember we used the weather generator if you want to use your data from weather stations or other observation points there is a way to do that and that information is given in the handout click OK and cancel once the input tables are created we are going to go to SWOT simulation and run SWOT we will pick start date of January 1st 2004 ending date of 31st December 2010 remember our simulated weather data only exists until 2010 we will have daily printout and everything else can remain default we can change the SWAT executable version to 64 bit if you are using a 32 bit machine you can keep that unchanged and then we will select setup SWAT run finished SWAT setup and then we will run SWAT so if everything went fine you should see this message here executing year one executing year two three four five and six so 2004 to 2010 that's seven years of simulation say okay and then you can cancel this after the simulation is done we can check our output so we will go to SWOT simulation and say read SWOT output so there are multiple files here that you can select to view 
So just to keep it simple, we are going to look at the output from each reach. So we can select output.rch and then we will select import files from database and you will see now it is importing information for each reach done writing files to database next we will give a name to our simulation so we'll just call it model 1 we will say save simulation so we will save the simulation as model 1 good and then we will run the SWOT check so what it basically does is it just makes sure that the value that we are getting are reasonable and within limits and it also produces process based figures for QQ visualization and if it found any error it will notify the user of any error so once you see this you can select examine model output and make sure again this directory structure is correct so in this case it was correct and it will run the model check and give us any errors if it found any and in this case it did not find any so what we can do is now we can go to hydrology tab and then it will tell you how much rainfall we got which is this precipitation how much was the evaporation and evapotranspiration component how much became runoff how much was percolation and how much was lost to deep aquifer so this basically gives you a water balance for your watershed and this is the ratio of stream flow and precipitation base flow against total flow and so on so once you are satisfied with this there are other options here so since we are only dealing with hydrology we will not look into those so we'll just look at this close this cancel exit and once we are done with editing input and running SWOT now step 4 which is visualization is enabled so we are done for this unit in next unit we will see how to visualize results from SWOT minimize this save your project and this is it for this unit